and welcome to the Microsoft Megabyte, where today I'm joined by two esteemed product marketing managers on the Surface team. That's right, none other than Sam Morton and Gunit Singh. Now listen, we know you all out there need to hear all about the new exciting changes to the Surface family. So that's what this is all about. Let's get started. Hello, Gunit. Hello, Sam. Excellent to have you joining us. Thank you so much. We have, um, I don't know if you're aware, but there have been some recent changes to the Surface family. Um, does that, is that a bombshell for either of you? <laughs> Rings a bell. <laughs> okay. Uh, r- rings, a, rings a months of sleepless nights bell. Now, Sam, is it true that you focus more on the on the Surface Pro? Yes, that is correct. Okay. And Gunit, you're more, you're, bo- you're more mobile on the fly with Slim Pen 2 and Go 3. Is that true? You got it. Look at this. It's as though I'm reading from my own notes. Just to hit the ground running here, Sam, talk to us about Pro 8. Think about everyone out there who's selling, representing, demoing Pro 8, who have probably been demoing and selling previous versions of the pro family of, of this form factor and what it means to customers, probably the most iconic of the surface form factors. So what are a few things that you want everyone to know right out of the gate about the differentiation of a Surface Pro 8. Yeah, of course. I'm super excited about this upgrade. It is, um, it's certainly kind of the biggest step since uh, since we went from 2 to, to Pro 3. I'm going to start with my favorite thing, which is the keyboard. Um, so we have updated the keyboard. It's now compatible with uh, the Surface Pro, what was the Surface Pro X keyboard uh, with built-in pen storage, right, uh, right. which I have been using. I've been using a Pro X for the last kind of 18 months months and I have not lost my pen yet and so the ability to have your pen straight there with you always charged ready to go is super exciting and I hope people will be excited about that update to the keyboard. Yeah. Do you find yourself even using the pen perhaps more often in more use cases because you know it's always accessible and you know it's charged? Totally. Yeah. Because it's right there and you go, oh, actually, this would be so much easier if yeah. I can figure it out. Then you take the keyboard off, you grab your pen and you just brainstorm, you know, that that note or that thought that you had. It's just so much of an easier transition than it was previously. Yeah, absolutely. I find myself replying to an email sometimes and thinking in Outlook even, you know, we're, we're not commonly maybe thinking about inking, but I'm thinking, boy, I would love to just circle this, cross-reference it and draw a little seating chart for what I'm trying to describe here in this email email, but uh, my pen's in my bag somewhere. I'll just try to figure out another way. And I think what you're describing is more profound than it, it might come across to someone who's thinking about what the, the pen, be, what, what, what's the big deal about where the pen is? But that instant accessibility must be such a convenience and a powerful one at that. Totally. And you think about kind of the world we're living in today where we're still all working from home. That means that, you know, the, the whiteboard isn't there anymore. And so the right. virtual whiteboard is more important or being able to kind of draw something on a, on a document or a diagram, and pop it into an email so you can explain how you would have explained in person. Yes. Um, it just changes the game. Um, and even when we go back into the office, kind of having a pen uh, that's only yours and only you have touched, <laughs> it's super exciting. Sam, they're taking a, a slightly offensive dig at me for the time I was eating too many Butterfinger candy bars and attacked her Surface Pen. And, you know, I thought I apologized, but hey, I guess we all hold grudges. Um, what, in terms of performance, Sam, tell us a little bit about what Pro 8 is bringing to the table. Yeah, the performance in this product is kind of crazy when you consider the form factor. Um, so the team have done amazing work to kind of uh, re-engineer the inside. So we've got an 11th gen and core processor you've got the choice of i5 or i7 but then really what brings a processor to life is how it is it able to operate and so active cooling is on every single model of pro 8 and that means that we keep have fans that keep it super cool that means it can go faster for longer so for more extended periods of time so we're seeing really crazy results on the performance and hopefully you'll see that too it's 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 really impressive and in a tiny slim form factor like pro and then as i said at the top it's it is a very familiar form factor but it does pack a surprise because while the footprint is similar to what customers have been experiencing with previous pros the display is improved isn't it 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. We've got 13 inch display on this model in that same uh, form factor. So you're getting super thin bezels uh, right round. And it's not just the size of the display, it's also uh, how fast the refresh can go. So we now have up to 120 hertz refresh rate. So if you're an artist, if you yeah. game, if you want to uh, kind of have a super smooth scrolling experience, 120 hertz is just beautiful. And you really will notice the difference if you're demoing between 60 and 120 hertz and then we've also got Dolby Vision packed into this product and so when you're streaming your favorite movie at the end of the day it's just beautiful kind of brighter brights darker darks it's really an impressive display okay yes and it looks it makes it look all the more modern which is uh, very very impressive even from a distance to attract customers attention so then Speaking of customers, then with this substantial upgrade to what a Surface Pro is now, who has this been designed for? What kind of customers? What kind of use cases? Yeah, so Surface Pro has always been for those uh, those customers who are looking for kind of more than just a tablet. But Surface Pro Eight is now our most powerful pro ever, and it's really designed for those customers who are looking for that laptop level performance, but also combined with the flexibility of a tablet and honestly even more than that with the the iconic kickstand that can adjust angles to whichever way you work or relax and so we're really excited to to be hitting on the core kind of value prop of what what pro was designed for uh, even more with pro 8 yeah i mean i don't think you need to be a wizard to understand why now is such a great time for this form factor to really outperform in its own class. Are there specific use case scenarios you have in mind? Yeah, I think you just said it kind of, we're living in this hybrid world. You need to be able to adapt wherever you're working, playing, relaxing, kind of this device is designed and has always been, this form factor has always been designed to do that. Uh, with you. And so now more than ever, it's the, kind of the perfect companion, whether you're kind of um, working in a cafe or you're, um, you know, relaxing on the couch at the end of yeah. the day, hands-free with a kickstand. It really is designed for, for the world we're living in. Okay. Well, you're talking about the perfect companion then. What about the perfect companions for the Pro 8 itself? What are the accessories that every customer should be recommended uh, before walking out of the store with just the Pro 8 itself? Yeah. Well, I've talked about my favorite, which is the keyboard. My yeah. second favorite is certainly the Slim Pen 2, uh, which Ganit will be able to tell you all about. It's just magical when paired with Pro 8. And it's it's super exciting, the technology that's been kind of built into that pen uh, and into the into the display to bring some of those experiences to life well then fine maybe we should talk about the pen if it's so important (laughs) and then of course we got to throw in our love of microsoft 365 the ultimate attached for any device leaving the store microsoft 365 see store for details okay so great (laughs) um gunit now then Surface Slim Pen 2. This is so important. I'm so glad you're you're here because I think the pen story, there's, we've seen different generations of pens and they're always impressive. But I will say, I think from time to time, it's perhaps difficult for a retail pro in the field to clearly understand the differences between you know the generations and, and the capabilities of what's currently for sale, what we're currently stocking. So what is the pitch for Slim Pen 2? What do we need to know about it? I'm really glad you asked. So Slim Pen 2 is absolutely the best pen we've ever made. And it's really exciting. I think like what's what's really interesting and was really resonating with customers is just how much they value basic things like note taking, brainstorming, even like drawing. And Slim Pen 2 unlocks that on our super portable and, and mobile like devices across the portfolio. Um, and so we really want to make sure that we're unlocking this piece of innovation for them and what some pen 2 really brings like the heat one of the great things that we're doing with this pen is that inking experience is next level you can tilt you can shade you can draw whatever you want to draw it's like really elegant and, and amazing experience we also have introduced a new experience called zero force inking and what that really means is the amount of pressure that you need to use with the pen on screen to actually have ink start flowing is basically zero and so what's really great is people can just like draw naturally create naturally 
it almost is like if you're creating uh, content with a pen on paper. And then the third like really big thing is a new experience that's coming through Windows 11 and when paired with Surface Pro 8 and Surface Laptop Studio, it's called Tactile Signals. And so what Tactile Signals is, it's like an incredible new experience that uses a haptic motor that's built in Surface Slum Pen 2. And it basically vibrates in the same way that your hand might vibrate when you're using pen on paper when note taking or drawing. What? And then what's all, yeah, it's super wild experience. And it's something that's really hard to communicate on a podcast sure or in a video but when every time we see people touch and feel it and we hope our customers like when they go into retail and they go to a demo device they touch and feel like the experience they actually can feel the vibration and sensation in their hand and it's it's a really magical experience so in things like whiteboard or powerpoint or any of these like m365 apps like it will actually feel like you're using a pen or a marker while you're drawing in the like on their uh, screen and it's a really incredible experience on apps like fresco the experience will change depending on what type of brush you're doing and what it does it just immerses you into the experience right it's really magical it feels great and it works in a ton of apps and uh, it's, it's a really incredible experience it works perfectly with all of our pro lines like as sam was saying earlier like you can store it in the keyboard which is really great it also stores directly on laptop studio so again we're making it really hard for people to lose this thing yes excellent it's such a surprise and delighter uh when yeah. people feel it and i think like the more that we can get customers like in the store to touch and feel and experience it themselves like you'll see their face and you'll see them light up and it's it's a, such a great sur- story for microsoft and for surface and it's even better because it all shines on m365 apps as well that's right that's right hey i already did the m365 i know plug. but we're closing we're the loop we're fitting it we're all safe. in I know. And then uh, one other like really great thing that we're really trying to let people know about is that uh, when you're buying the Surface Pro signature keyboard and you're buying the Surface Slim Pen 2 pen, you can actually get it together as a bundle and save around $30 like US. And so uh, it's really great to get people into the full experience and being able to reserve them with a bundle lets them be able to get into the full experience at $30 less. Excellent. Now, can we dovetail quickly now to talk about the, oh, I almost said the most mobile, but I guess technically the <laughs> second most mobile member of the Surface family, the Go 3, because the Go 3 has long been a fan favorite of, of yours truly, because I, I have kids. I should say the Go has been a fan favorite. I, I quickly realized how much I loved my Go 2 just as a companion, as a tablet that I knew was always sitting by my couch or by the bedside or something. As, and I would use it differently than I would use my other devices. And so now I'm curious, what is changed with Go 3 and who is it for? Yeah, absolutely. So with Go 3, there is a couple of big changes. The first one, first and foremost, is uh, it is the best device to showcase like Windows 11. You know, mm. Go 3 is this like amazing experience where, where tablet and touch experiences like really shine. And Windows 11 is, again, is like optimized for these touch and tablet first experiences. Right. And so what you end up doing is we end up being this like wonderful manifestation of all of these like ma- amazing experiences that are coming through that is focusing on tablet mode that's coming through Microsoft and coming through our partners. And so it's such a it's a, such a great experience uh, for everything that's like new and hot with like Windows 11. This, the second really great thing is we're having faster processors. You know, we're up to 60% faster than uh, than Surface Go 2 Gen over Gen while still keeping the same level of like pricing, mm-hmm. uh, which is really great. So people, customers can get in at 399 US and start exploring like what the right Surface Go is for them and know that they're getting even more performance than they had previously. And so that again, you know, you know it means more performance for Teams calls to either to connect with your family or do remote calls uh, for, or for school. Right. Um, uh, or even playing Minecraft or uh, Game Pass like through the cloud or browsing, you name it. It just like is more horsepower to get uh, people to do the things that they need to get done. Absolutely. So we've covered Pro 8, Slim Pen 2, and Go 3. Are there any other final remarks you'd like to impart upon anyone selling or representing Surface at store level or online? 
It's so excited for you guys to see and touch and feel and use these devices. That's what they're built for. So um, can't wait till you can get your hands on them. Could not agree more. Okay, so before we sign off here, was there any other items you just had to get out there about to remind our retail pros about the Surface family and how the experiences are like? Yeah, I mean, you talked about M365. The other thing I'd add to that is Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. And now with cloud gaming in a bunch of markets, that's a super um, exciting experience across all of our Surface portfolio, whether you're playing kind of on um, a, a game, kind of using the hardware directly, um, like Age of Empires on, right. on uh, Surface Pro 8, or whether you're cloud gaming through the app or through the browser on any of our devices. You can play games that you would never expect on Surface Go 3, a super cool and exciting um, attached for us. Yeah, talk about another surprise and delight. You're not expecting to play those kinds of titles on something like a Go 3. But hey, Pro 8, Go 3 both have gorgeous displays. Why not put them to use and leverage the power of cloud gaming to play all of your favorite games on uh, Game Pass Ultimate? Great call out. Thank you so much. Checks in the mail for that one because I should have thought of it myself. Oh, okay. and yes. Well, one more me. thing. It, it, and every time you buy a device, it comes with a free Game Pass trial, so it's really easy for people to get into. Risk free. Mm, nice, there nice you go. opportunity for a quick attach opportunity in the store too. <laughs> Excellent, <laughs> Sam Gunit, um, uh, Apologies in advance because you're so succinct and so helpful that you will be invited back soon. So that's your that's your problem now. You have to deal with it. <laughs> we would love it. It's great. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, thanks, thanks, cool. for, thanks for giving us your time. We really appreciate it. Thanks. This has been the Microsoft Megabyte Podcast, a training tool for Microsoft field team members and sales professionals across the country, produced by Microsoft employees.